Before we begin this next play session of Tale Concerto, I want to point out that I did some off-the-camera stuff. I went back to previous areas after I finished off fighting uh, Flare, Stair, and Alicia. And now we're on the task of finding the three sisters. But while off camera, I found out where the missing photographs were. It turns out that there were photographs I missed in the Furs in Mine, one in Grimto, and two more in the Airleaf stage. So yeah, now at this point, I should have all the photos except for one. And you're going to see that in this video and everything. But I think I've talked long enough, so let's get back to Let's Play Tale Concerto. And... I also want to point out, thank you guys very much for watching. It really means a lot. So, without further ado, let's continue. Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Tale Concerto, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we took the fight to Alicia and her gang on the Mobile Fortress after the Inventor guy helped us find the Mobile Fortress with his uh, Mobile Fortress detector. And after fighting against them, it seems that there's something going on with Alicia and the Black Cat's merchant, Fool. Very curious. After defeating her, now we have the task of finding the three sisters and bringing them in. I don't think we're gonna arrest them, but yeah, they might just uh, apologize for their crimes and everything like that because they didn't really commit any dangerous crimes or anything. So yeah, <clears throat> anyway, before we begin this video, I wanna show off the photographs that I've collected uh, throughout uh, the game and everything. So uh, let's get started, shall we? This cute little picture of the kittens of the Black Cats gang with a bomb and a staff. This lovely picture of Princess Terry and her butler shopping at the market. A picture of Alicia in her bed thinking without her eye patch. A lovely picture of Stair sitting on a small hill during the sunset. The little kittens of the Black Cats gang with uh, little knives raising terror. <laughs> I love this one. My favorite. A lovely picture of Stair reading a book. Very cute. Flair in a bikini playing at the beach in a sand building a sandcastle. Very cute. A picture of Cyan in a orange speedo at uh, the beach. Very nice. And of course, this little picture right here of Full Air taking a nap at a small work desk. A picture of Princess Teria on her balcony, like you see at the beginning of the game in the animated cutscene. A picture of Panta hurrying across the street in an area, maybe Porto. A lovely picture of Grandpa Russell and the butler. A picture of Alicia when she was just a little kitten or kid. Very cute. And lastly, a picture of Cyan holding a red rose in his mouth very gentleman like there's one more picture that we need to get and thankfully I know where it is and I know where to get it but I think I'll get that as soon as I uh, well I'll just get it when I get it and everything but for now let's get started with uh, finding the three sisters waffle you've already captured all the black cats now that all the kittens are gone, we kind of miss them. The Black Cats gang are all cat people, right? I'd like to meet a cat person. Do you remember a cat girl who used to live here, Waffle? 
Her father became very ill soon after moving here. Despite her best efforts, he died a few days later. The doctors tried everything they could, but the illness was specific to cat people. So they couldn't find any effective treatment for it. And to the little girl, I'm sure it seemed as if we had let him left him to die. Yeah, he's talking about Alicia. So apparently, uh, Alicia's father had passed away. And at the beginning of the game and everything, I guess we can verify that the cutscene was her crying about her father. Oh, I've got a message from headquarters. Good work, Waffle. Now we just have to find the three Pris sisters. Oh, by the way... What's going to happen to the kittens? Don't worry, we won't keep them for here for long. Oh, good. The three Pris sisters fled from the police on separate airships. I'm sure you can find their airships in a port somewhere. It shouldn't be difficult. Alright, Chief. Well, let's get started then, shall we? But where to start exactly? We got the whole entire map in order to explore. I think we'll... Hmm. We'll start at Grimto. A bluke! A blue balloon. That means stair must be here. Yep. You finally found us. Yep. Yeah. Let me ask you one question. Hmm? Sure. What is it? What do you think of my sister Alicia? What do you mean by that? Alicia suffered a lot when she was young, and her heart is filled with pain. Are you capable of healing her pain? I don't know if I can. But I know I can listen to her feelings. I'm a good listener. Don't you feel better when you talk to someone about your problems? It's more painful to have no one to talk to. Don't you agree? That is very true. Very, very true. I don't know if this answers your question, though. Waffle, you're very honest. All right, come with me. And please, listen to her. Okay, then. Let's go back to Porto. I'm sorry my room is so small. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Is something wrong? the first time I've been in a boys room. Really? <laughs> oh dear. Huh? Oh, uh, well, I'll get your sister soon. <laughs> okay, now we have stairs, so now we have to find Alicia and Flair. But let's talk to Ali uh, Flair for a little bit. I'm not like Alicia and Flair. I might bore you. No, not at all. I, I think it's kind of nice for a girl to be soft-spoken. <laughs> uh, I hope it was all right for me to do the laundry. Oh. You wash my clothes? Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of like like uh, stare. 
She's soft-spoken, but she's really, really sweet and nice, and she sticks up for her sisters no matter what. Seriously. <laughs> uh. Alright, now we have to find Flair and Alicia. Hmm. I'll check out Rosaka. Okay, Rosaka. Rosaka Harbor. Yep, there's Flair's air balloon, but where's Flair? Hmm. Excuse me. I just saw a cat girl walking toward the central plaza. She looked like one of the Black Cats gang. Hmm. I saw a cat girl wandering around the clock tower. Really? Still trying to get that graffiti off, I see, mister. He was trying to clean the graffiti off earlier that the kittens had gotten. The more I look at it, the more interesting I find it. I decided to leave it. I even cleaned it, clean it every week. Well, it does add a little flair to it, I guess. <laughs> I wonder where that cat girl I saw earlier went. She looked lonely walking by herself, so I tried to talk to her, but she ran off. Aw, really? Oh, nothing in here. Wrong door. It sounds like someone's inside. The door is unlocked. I can go in now. Okay, let's go in. Clock tower. There was a cat girl here a minute ago. Where'd she go? Hmm. There's Flair! But now that I think about it, yep, the last picture is right here. Yep. And I think we'll look at that much later on. There are two ways we could have gotten inside of this area, but yeah. Flair? so kind. I don't see why anyone would harm the cat people. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Dog people don't hate cat people. I guess you're right. Here, come with me. Okay. Fun fact! You can actually look for either flare or stare first, whichever. If you bring flare back, Heck, she'll compliment your room and everything. She also asked to try and find your, uh, find her sisters. But, unfortunately, no. We get a raspberry blown in our face and everything, but yeah. But I usually go for her stare since I guess it makes more sense. But anyway, let's watch the cutscene fold out. Right? Yeah, I'm okay. I wonder if Alicia is too. Alicia. There's Alicia. Hmm. Alicia? 
Alicia. Alicia! Why is everyone here? <laughs> well, Waffle found me and brought me here. Me too. I see. Anyway, it's great that I found all of you. I'll talk to the king about you tomorrow. Waffle? Are they gonna put us in jail? Don't worry. I'll tell him you're sorry for what you did. But I'm sure you'll have to pay for the damage you've done. Yeah, because technically they didn't really commit any serious crimes or anything like that, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alicia, what's the matter? You look pale. Alicia, you must be tired. Why don't you rest? I think I will. Thank you. Where's the crystal? Uh-oh. Waffle. I'm sorry. Oh no, this must be what Fool was talking about. Oh no. Eggstone. How did it go, Alicia? I brought the crystal just as I promised. Here! Alicia hands the four crystals to Fool. Oh no. Alicia, you don't know what you're doing! are used to revive the Iron Giant! Now, I'll awaken the giant from his ancient slumber! I don't understand! What's oh. going on here? <laughs> that would make four crystals! The last one would be... <gasps> hey, that's the...
We are at Praria Castle. The Iron Giant has been resurrected! I wonder what we can do about it! So, the Iron Giant has been fully resurrected. And if what we were... Uh, what it, we remember we're told in everything, the Giant is uncontrollable because of its mass power and everything. Because of that, it might just rampage throughout all of Praria and destroy it. Fool thought that he could control the Iron Giant, but he was wrong! He tricked Alicia into bringing the four crystals, and the fifth crystal was her pendant that Waffle gave her when she was a kid! Oh man, this is intense. What is going to happen now? I guess I have to talk to everybody. My subjects are frightened. Isn't there something I can do for them? Just when we were beginning to get along with the black cats. So it seems, King, so it seems. If the Iron Giant goes on a rampage, Puria will be destroyed. Waffle, you're the only one we can count on. Waffle, don't worry. I'll guard the princess with my life. There's Flare and Stare. I guess they came too. Where is my sister? We escaped together, but we got separated. My sister has always loved you. I see. Waffle, I'm scared. Oh, Flare. What's going to happen to us? I don't know. But I'm going to do everything I can to stop this. I know I can. Panta? I was a waffle. Now you can show what you're really made of. I've got your back, Officer Waffle. Thanks, Panta. As usual. Grandpa Russell. I wonder if we'll be destroyed. Just like our ancestors. I have no idea. Oh, man. Officer Waffle! Officer Waffle! We got a message! Eh? I'm sorry, Waffle! I have to go get my pendant back! No, Alicia, don't! Alicia! That pendant. Now I remember. When I first met you, I gave it to you to cheer you up. You were crying. Even though it was my mother's, I had to give it to you. You told me that I was the only one who cared about the cat people. Waffle? 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 Huh? You should go. Alicia, she really needs you. <sighs>
take all the glory. I'll distract him while you fly him through his mouth. Got it? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now in sight the Iron Giant. Looks like I made it in sight the Iron Giant. I think I saw Alicia's airship on my way down. Well, I better find a way up there. What's going on? The police robo's transporter is glowing. It looks like it's gathering power from the Iron Giant. Yeah, apparently the power of the Iron Giant is fueling the police robo. So now we got a bit more power and everything like that. I've got to find Alicia real quick. The radio is still working. I should report to headquarters. Yes, you can save in the Iron Giant. It, it must have broke, but unfortunately we cannot return to the surface because it is broken. So yeah. You will be able to return to previous levels from here if you decide to save at this point. Remember this when overriding the save data. So yeah, we are going to make a separate save file for this. Create new file. So yeah. And I guess those little uh, things flying around are the embryos for the Iron Giant. We can shoot them to destroy them, but unfortunately they'll grow back at everything. But oh man, we've covered a lot in uh, the episode, so now we have to take these transporters up in order to get to the top. And unfortunately, because we're in water, we're going to be moving slow, so that's a problem. And we also jump slow too, so yeah. So this is going to be pretty tricky, if you know what I mean. And I didn't jump fast enough. Ugh, I gotta time the reaction for the jump really carefully in this area because it's really, 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 really slow and tricky. So yeah. And I missed again! Shoot! Ugh, this is gonna take a while. This is going to take a while, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm not going to stop until we get to the very top of it and everything. So, yeah. Mmm. Come on. No, I didn't make it. Shoot. You see how precise you have to be on this area? Because this area is very precise with its timing and everything. So, you really gotta time your jumps carefully. The little embryos don't hurt that much, but they do do a significant amount of damage. So yeah, gotta be careful.
I could have jumped on that platform if I had timed it just right. I think I have to get to that center area right there. So here's hoping. Come on, come on. Okay. Now I gotta time my jumps just right. I think to get to that gold area. Because the platforms are gonna move. Okay, jump again. If I fall off of here, I'm gonna have to restart, and that is gonna be a real pain and hassle. Okay. We're here. Okay. Come on, almost there, almost there. Don't foul up, don't foul up. We made it, there's Alicia's ship. Let's go. What the? Where is this place? There's Alicia! Alicia! Uh oh. Could this be the core of the Iron Giant? Yes, I want to save. Because this is going to be the last battle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy. Let's overwrite the existing data. And get ready to battle. Ow! Oh, but yeah, movement speed is back to normal in this area. Ugh. And there's the egg stone, the center of it. But this looks like pretty much the center for the Iron Giant. And that drawing must be its core. So if we take out the core, we should be able to stop the Iron Giant. Ugh. The blaster we have should be able to do good amount of damage to it. 
and we just have to dodge the bombs that it shoots out, the laser that it shoots out, and when it tries to ram into us. Ha ha ha. Whoa! Look out. Ow, son of a billy block. Ah. But this these three attacks are all that I think this core does, basically. Shoots out a laser, throws out bombs, and tries to ram into us. It floats around us nonchalantly. And this final boss music, it's not too bad, but I think it could have done better. Whoa! Ow! Ow, son of a belly block. Sadly, this is the only weapon that we have against this thing. The blaster and that's it. And we've got health half our health left right here. Ow, son of a Am I gonna have to use a whistle in this part? Because that that's what it looks like. Shoot. Ah, I jumped into that. We've almost got its health down, but I'm probably gonna have to use a whistle for the next part. Yeah. You're done. I'm glad you weren't hurt. The crystals! The egg stone! Uh oh, it's coming back! Oh no, it's coming back to life! What am I gonna do? Oh, great. We gotta fight this Joker again. And I have to use a whistle. Duck got it! We got six whistles left. Officer Waffle, don't give up. Please try again. Don't worry, Panta. I'm going to. Trust me. I took damage because of that. Dark on you.
It's a lot more fiercer now with its attacks. Shoot! But all we have to do is just keep bringing on the pain. Ah! That shot home... That attack homed in on me! Dark on you! Ah, am I going to have to use another whistle again? Shoot! Ah! Ah-ah. Uh -uh. And I lose again! Mother Viper! Five whistles. No lasers. Shoot! I should have zigged the other way. Okay. I've got a steady pattern now. Watch out for the bombs. No, my friend, no! Oh, look out, Alicia! Now I've got the pattern down. Ow! Son of a belly block! Well, we got half its health down, so that's a good thing. Whoa, look out! Ow! Ah. The only thing I can say about this boss is that it's frustrating. This boss takes a lot of hits and a lot of health to hit. Look out! Ah! Uh, and whenever it does its tackle, it's really hard to do that unless I pull the uh, jump, uh, the side jump, at, uh, basically. Look out! Look out for the bombs! That's another hit! And I took damage because of that. Ah. But come on. We've almost got it. We've almost got it. Look out. Whew. That was close. You're done. Again. Now stay down! Uh. The 
robot came back after the crystals glowed. If I remove the crystals, I might be able to defeat it. So let's do that then. And there we go! And that is it. As the core shrivels, that is it. <sighs> and the other four crystals fall to the ground as the egg tree, uh, the egg stone dissipates. Oh no! The iron giant is starting to collapse! Uh oh! And that is Tail Concerto. Uh, I gotta get props to Lenny Milena for doing the voice of uh, Waffle. And Amanda Win Lee, she did the voice for Alicia. Awesome. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? But yeah, that is Tail Concerto, everyone. Huh. This game is such a staple of my childhood that I love it to death. And I come back, I would happily come back to it if my original disc copy was still in working order and everything. But I'm grateful for Duck Station and for a ROM version of this game to exist and everything. Because of Waffle's achievements and everything, he gets a congratulatory medal from the princess. Ah, very nice. But this game is just so wonderful to come back to. The sights, the sounds, the animations, the voice acting and everything. And of course the animated cutscenes. And of course I gotta give props to the CGI for in this game because it's just so good. Games like this do not come by every so often, but it's definitely worth it. And of course the Band uh, Bandai Inc and uh atlas for making this game seriously thank you to those of you who are still working at bandai and everything or bandai is disbanded and everything there's the police robo cyber connect ltd yeah uh this game is such a thrill to come back to and play whether you're uh, playing as waffle and uh shooting uh, uh stopping the kittens from rampaging and everything and uh fighting against the black cats gang throwing the bombs comes back at them and uh, using the bubble blaster. It's just so darling. Lead designer Takayuki Isobi, Cyan, Princess Teria. <laughs> and it's just so darling. I really enjoy this game for what it is. In fact, this was one of my first PlayStation games that I got thanks to my sister. And I thank her deeply for this. 
The game background music and the animation background music, just darling, just, mm. It's so peaceful, it's so tranquil, seriously. This game should be played by a lot of people. There's also a sequel to it, a spiritual sequel. I forget what it's called, but I have to look it up one day. Aw, Waffle and Alicia uh, become friends again after all this time. I guess the Black Cats game won't be causing trouble anymore. So, yeah. And I'm thankful from the bottom of my heart for finishing this LP project. It's just so, it was just so good to come back to this game and play it again. And I give it to you guys to do this uh, LP session for and everything. I'm so glad that I was able to do this session after all this time. So seriously. Finn. And there's the blue crystal pendant. Huh. At this time, I want to... Thank you guys very much for watching this Let's Play of Tail Concerto. One of my childhood staples and one of my favorite PlayStation games of all time. I just wish my original disc copy was not so messed up and everything. But, like I said before, thanks to the power of Duck Station and uh, the ROM that I managed to find, I'm grateful to have done this again because I really wanted to do this game again after all this time and I gave it to you guys to do it with. So, yeah. <sighs> but we're not uh, really, really, really done with the game. There is an extra month and everything. And I'll probably save her for a little bonus video and everything. Especially because I managed to get all the photos. And uh, I have access to more pictures in the gallery. The photo book and everything. So yeah, I'll show that off in a bonus episode. I can save the bonus data, so that's what I'm going to do. I won't be able to play the game from the bonus data whenever rewriting the save data. So, that's important to notice. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to save right here at the Iron Giant. And we are done. If I load the bonus data, I can see the bonus mode. But yeah, that's going to do it for this Let's Play session of Tail Concerto. Thank you guys very much for watching this game. From Bandai 1998 and published by Atlas, I will see you guys in the next LP project. But with that, Leo is out. Peace out, you guys, and keep on gaming. <laughs>